Hello, peace be with you. This is the third program about who is fooled. And I think it's important to talk about uh, the reality of our world today while we are witnessing massacres and people being killed, innocent people, civilians, in the Middle East, in Palestine, in Gaza, in Lebanon, but not only in these uh, countries who also have the same reality in Burma, in India, in Congo, and in so many other places. And with this new technology, we know now what is happening. We can't say, as they were saying during the Second World War, or for example, at the beginning of the Vietnamese War, we didn't know what was happening, so we kept silence. And our silence is justified, or was justified, because we didn't know. Today we know, not because of the media coverage, because the media coverage is biased, it's not transparent, it's not always the same wherever things are happening. We have seen this over the last year with Palestine, with Gaza, where the media coverage was so superficial, so nothing indeed. So we had to rely on the uh, social media and we got many, many, information and we know and we have been uh, updated about what was happening around uh, uh, in the Middle East, around the world. And no, today we can't say we don't know. We can't say, oh, I cannot take a stand uh, because I don't know what is happening. Now we know and the new technology is adding responsibility to our responsibility as human beings. So what we have today is some of our fellow uh, sisters and brothers in humanity saying, you know, I, I'm, it's, I am an intellectual, yes, and I'm a scholar, yes, but it's not my field and it's so complex that I can't say, I can't take a stand because I, I don't know uh, what is really happening, as if the new complexity is justifying your cowardice. So your cowardice now, it's based on the fact that it's so complex, it's so difficult to understand that I prefer to be neutral, I prefer not to speak, I prefer silence. So this new type of silence based not on we didn't know or we don't know, based on oh, but yes, we know, but it's complex, you know, it's difficult. And, and between the two, I prefer not to take a stand between, you know, the oppressors and the oppressed people. It's, 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 not, it's not right, because I could be mistaken. So you have this type of people. And you have another type of people, uh, you know, all these people are saying, you know, I'm an actor. I'm a, a, a sportsman. I'm a sportwoman. I am. Uh, I, 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 I act, but that's not my field, and it's not my responsibility to speak out because. As an actor, or as a singer, or as an artist, uh, or as a sport person, you know, it's not my job because this is the job of politicians or intellectuals or people who are knowledgeable about these issues. Sorry? Sorry? Your profession, your activity, you being an actor or being a sport person or being an artist is removing or preventing you from being a human being. So in the name of your status, in the name of your reputation, in the name of your social status or the money you are making, you are now forgetting the essence of what it means to be a dignified human being. You don't know you can't see, you can't speak, and yes, you are scared of uh, losing your job or losing your money or using your reputation because so many people who don't, who don't want you to speak out uh, are just putting some pressure. Silence. It's the best way. So, killing could carry on, uh, innocent people could die, and you have your status, you uh, carry on acting, playing, or whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't say, as was said in the past, we don't know. 
You can't now say it's too complex, I cannot take a stand. And you can't say because of my activity, because of my status, because of, uh, uh, you know, it's not my job to speak out. I'm, I'm losing my dignity as a human being. At the end of the day, do you have a conscience? What are you going to say in front of your conscience the day where there is only you in front of the mirror? Or you are going to be before God? What would be your answer? Oh, you know what? I didn't speak. Because yes, I knew, but I was playing soccer, football. I was playing basket. I was acting. I was a great actor. I was, and I was. No, you were nothing. You were nothing. Because at the end of the day, you are sitting down in your living room, in front of your computer, in front of your TV device, and, and you are celebrating the name of these great people, these great men, these great women, through history, who were able to speak out. Oh, Dr. Martin Luther King, Mandelson Mandela, and so many great people. They were courageous, and you hide your own cowardice behind their courage. And you just carry on living your life while people are being killed in African countries, in the Mediterranean Sea, between the south and between the north. People are dying because they are just trying to save their life, just to have a dignified life. And you keep silent. Being, there are massacres in uh, Gaza and in Lebanon. The uh, uh, International Court of Justice is speaking about genocide. And you keep silent. And what is happening in Burma? Silence. And in India? Silence. 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 Oh, it's none of my business, or I can't speak, I don't know. I'm sorry, yes, the situations could be complex. But when there is an oppressor, and where there are victims and oppressed people, you are not, just don't try to play with complexity, to hide the fact that you are coward enough not to speak out. Because if our world is facing what we are facing today, it's because people are not speaking out. And I was told, oh, you know what, I'm not going to follow in your footsteps because look what happened to you. You were very talkative and, and, and vocal about uh, uh, the Palestinians and about Islam and look at what, what they did to you, what happened to you. Yes, that's true, and I was ready to pay the price. But this wouldn't have been the case if many were with me, not pushing me uh, uh, from uh, behind and pushing my back, saying, oh, we are behind you, go ahead and speak out. And then when it happened, I just turned my face and nobody was there. Because, yes, multiple voices, it's power. It's more powerful than only one single voice. And we need to be many and to stop idealizing voice or, or men or leaders. We have many leaders who are alone, but there is no leadership, there is no movement, there are not people. So we should not be uh, 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 stupid and silly enough just to expose ourselves, we have to make it and to be involved uh, in a smart way by being able to speak up, to come together, one, two, three, four, five uh, sports, uh, players, artists, uh, singer coming together and being able to say, not in our name, this is against human dignity, we are not going to accept this, and to come together, you may lose money. You may lose your reputation, but you are going to gain your dignity as a human being. You are going to be and to be heard and, 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 and remember that one day you are going to die. It was just before dying when you will have my age and you will be alone in front of your mirror, in front of before your own consciousness. What are you going to say? And when it comes, and when comes the time where you are before God, 
he is the most merciful, but he doesn't like the coward. He doesn't like the people who are not courageous. And it's not about violence, it's not about fighting. You know, the first instance in our book, it's uh, so, so you have to go through this intellectual jihad with your book to be able to say, I'm for the truth, I'm for justice, I'm for freedom, I'm for human dignity and equality. This is why I want, I don't want innocent people to be killed. I don't want innocent immigrants to, 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 uh, to, to die in the sea. I don't want this. This is not us. And now, today we have the technology to help us to know what is happening around the world, wherever we are. So I don't want to be a, a complicit of, of what is happening. This is, this is the way it should be. So this is one thing. And then uh, the best jihad, which means the best resistance and reform within the world, is a word of truth before a dictator. So to be able to face this injustice and to speak out. We are not talking about violence. We are talking about courage. We are talking about changing the world. So if you have money, if you have this success, if you have this repetition, if you, you are able and you are smart enough and you have qualities and you have you are able to be visible in the world today with all this technology you can't justify in any way your silence because you should not be fooled but you should not fool yourself which is the worst because at the end this is exactly what could happen to anyone you are great but great in the name of whom? Great before whom? Having a repetition for whom? And your repetition is based on what? On what exactly? And it's not because you are supporting justice by proxy and at the same time being silent because you are an artist. You are a sports person. You deal with soccer and football and basketball and the pressure is so high that at one point you should not face your own consciousness and your own responsibility. You know the world is really going mad and bad and it's because of us. It's because we, don't, we are not enough. You and me, I'm including myself, we are not courageous enough. We are not, we are not vocal enough. And when we listen to some voices coming from Africa and coming from the Middle East and Palestine and Gaza and India and China saying, where are you? Where are you? How are you going to justify your silence? You knew. And you kept silent. And I think that uh, we have to acknowledge who is fooled, who is fooling him or herself. And uh, whatever happens, and if even among human beings you lose money and reputation because they are targeting you, at least in front of your consciousness and before God, you remain dignified and it's better to leave this world dignified with no money and even no reputation while uh, instead of leaving this world rich, wealthy, with a great reputation but an empty heart, cold among the cohort people, isn't it? Don't forget to tell the people you love that you love them. Life, it's fragile.